with me. Ow. <laughs> hey, what are you two still doing now? Yeah, what are you doing here? It's 5 o'clock in the morning. Well, we were too wide to sleep. What, went to graduation, talking about my trip to Japan, and a bunch of other stuff. So here we are. Look, Vanessa, I know Junior's told you about his graduation present. I want to give you my opinion. <laughs> I personally feel that if he doesn't go to Japan, he's making a big mistake. I think so, too. It's an opportunity of a lifetime, Vanessa. And you know what? Separation is actually healthy for a relationship. That's right. Yeah, I mean, sometimes, you know, I just want to get away. That's why I have my job. That's right. So right. I don't have to be around her all the right. time. Yapping and right. yapping and... Uh -huh. All right, all right. <laughs> What I'm trying to say is, if you want to have a great homecoming, sometimes you got to leave home. Absence really does make the heart grow fonder, is what he's trying and to say. And after you're stuck with someone for a long time, the more absence, the all better. All right, all right! Look, look, Mom, Dad, we've been sitting here talking for a couple of hours, and I don't think I'm going to go to Japan. Junior, that makes me very sad. This is very disappointing. Okay, listen. If you're not going, then your mother and I at least deserve an explanation why you're not going. She's pregnant. Come again. <laughs> Did he just say she was pregnant? <laughs> she... <laughs> Baby? Why toss an ordinary salad? Car Baby? Uh, Baby? Uh, hey. Oh, Michael. Oh, it's not real. Baby, I was having the worst dream. What, that we were in the kitchen and Junior said that Vanessa's pregnant? Yes! you know that? Because it wasn't a dream. What? Is it true? No, it's not true. Michael, please tell me it's not true. Okay, it's not true. Truthfully? You want the truth? Yes, I want the truth. It's true. Is it true that it's not true? Is it true that it's true? No, it's true that it's true, but it's not true that it's... Wait, it's, it's not true that it's not true. The, the boy got a pregnant. Damn, Michael. I knew it, Michael. I said it. Did you hear me say she was nothing but trouble? Yes. I said she yes, was nothing but yeah, trouble. Yeah, I heard you say it. The whole neighborhood heard no. you say it. Wait, she probably tricked into doing it. No, a girl can't trick a guy into having sex. Only a guy could trick another guy into having sex. Okay, hey, Frank, you dropped your wallet. Whoopsie, got your surprise. What are you talking about? You know what I mean. She let him on, Michael. No, Junior had a part in this too, Jay. A small part that I probably should have chopped off years ago. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Maybe it's not even his baby, huh? Well, they seem pretty sure. Don't bump that. I want a DNA test. How do we know she wasn't handed out of cookies all over town? <laughs> No, all we have to do is a sonogram. If the fetus's head looks like a question mark, then we know it's June. Oh, no, this can't be happening, Michael. You have to do something. You mean I have permission to torture him? No, Michael. We have to keep in mind that he's still our baby. We can't be too rough on him. Stop it, boy, you can't. Hey, 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 No, 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 listen. Remember you said we weren't going to be too tough on him. Who? You said that. Oh. Remember? Yeah. Okay. Okay. You cool? Uh-huh. Okay. I'm cool. Look. No. Oh, I oh, no. Can I at least say something before you beat me to death? Yeah. Yeah. We'd love to hear what you have to say. I'm sorry if I've disappointed you. That's a start, fool. But I think this is a good thing. You do. See, I love Vanessa. Right. She loves me. Mm -hmm. And now we'll have a baby that we both love. That's perfect. Yes. Jay, give me the pillow and put a rock in it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Just hear me out. Maybe you'll understand my plan. <laughs> well, he's got a plan. You didn't say you had a plan. Oh, I didn't know you had a plan, son. Oh. Please sit down and tell your mom and I your plan, my man. Help us understand before I kick in the can. <laughs> okay. Vanessa and I will just get married. That fixes it. <laughs> he fixed the whole out of wedlock pregnancy thing just like that. <laughs> the guy's a genius. Did you hear that? I didn't think of that Jay the boy is a genius. Sure I didn't think maybe that's because I'm not the plan man and you're not the plan woman. Well, I feel a whole lot better. Me too. See? <laughs> yeah. But can I ask you a question about your plan? Fire away. Where are you, your new bride, mm. and the baby gonna sleep? I figured that out too. Right here. Right here. Yeah. <laughs> it's perfect. Right here. Yeah. Oh, so you and your wife and
and your baby are gonna sleep in a garage. Now that's the American dream right there. I can see it now. The baby could play right here on this oil spot. It'll be his own little slipping type. Right. And we can put the crib right here underneath the pruning shear so he can work on his hand and eye coordination. Yeah, and if the baby's cold, we could just warm him up on the muffler. You know, because everybody knows kids love carbon monoxide. You know, it's scientifically proven to make them sleepy. <laughs> Boy, but you probably thought about that, huh? You guys make it sound like a stupid plan. <laughs> but under the circumstances, I was thinking maybe I could have my old room back. <laughs> he wants us to reward him for getting his girlfriend knocked up. Maybe you should go out and rob a bank and we can let him have our room. <laughs> I get it. Incentivize your stupidity. That's the plan. Look, Dad, you can make fun of me all you want, but it's not going to change the facts. The facts? Let us review the facts. The facts are you have no job, no education, no idea how to survive in the world, and you have the gall to procreate and bring another little idiot into the world. Look, we'll find a way. We'll find a way, he said. We'll find a way, the kid said. The kid is going to find a way. Son, do you have a pen and pad? Yeah. I want you to write down something for me. Okay. I want you to write down... We're going to get married, and then underneath that put, we'll find a way. <laughs> okay, well, why am I doing this? Because from now on, we're going to keep a track of all the dumb things that you said. <laughs> I ain't dumb. I ain't dumb. That's the title of this book. <laughs> I ain't dumb. Dad, that, there's, there's no being dumb. That's dumby. <laughs> Sure that Junior's having a baby? Yeah, Katie it is. Jay, I can't wait until I'm Auntie Katie. Auntie Katie? I can never be Auntie Katie, because I'm so pro-Katie. <laughs> <laughs> Auntie Katie? Pro-Katie? I don't get it. <laughs> Anywho, we can all agree about how disappointed we are in Junior. You can say that again. Right, what right. a letdown. Mm. There's still a ray of hope. They say every ending is a new beginning. And this is the beginning of what I like to call the Franklin Kyle era. You're still angling for Junior's spot, huh? Angling is such a crude word, Mr. Kyle. It cheapens the purity of my intentions. Which are? Junior out, me in. Well, he makes a point, Jay. Okay, Franklin, we'll mull this over. You go play with Katie somewhere, all right? Yeah, somewhere out in the open where we can keep our eye on you. <laughs> You're such a card, Dad. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Hey! It's the man with the plan. Listen, son, I was thinking, and I'd like to offer you an opportunity. What opportunity? Well, you're about to have a baby, so I figure you're gonna need a job. Maybe two. So, I'd like to offer you a job working with me. Good. Where? <laughs> Do you have your I Ain't Dumb book? Yeah. Oh, oh Kyle Trucking, that's where. Uh -uh. I don't know about that. That means I'll be separated from Vanessa when she goes to college. Ugh. You know, you two have a lot of tough decisions to make now, don't you? Yeah, I know. Look, I'm going to meet her now, so I'll talk to her about it. <coughs> what? <laughs> what did your mother say? She wasn't happy. I was afraid of that. What about your father? Well, he said something about smashing your head in with the brick and a third circumcision. And he was yelling so much, that's all I could get. Oh, and he wants to talk to you. Oh. He said you better have some serious plans for us. Well, I do. You know, we'll finish lunch. <laughs> and then what? That's all I got right now. Well, I have some ideas. I'll go to college, we'll have the baby, and we'll get jobs so we can earn some money to buy a house. Oh, that's good, a house. Can we get a dog? Sure. Um, and then I was thinking we could get married. Can we name the dog Spike? Yeah. We'll name the dog Spike. Yeah. And after we get married, I'll join a small lab. Can <laughs> Spike sleep with us? Yeah. If he doesn't lick the baby. 
So anyway, as I was saying, I'll join a small law firm, mm -hmm. and by then one of your inventions will start paying <laughs> Can we teach him to fetch? <laughs> no. You know, I'll take him for long nature walks, and, and I'll throw a ball, and he'll bring them back to me, and I'll say, that's a good voice, but who loves to fight you? Stop with the dog, okay? Just stop with the dog. We'll get the dog already, okay? Okay. I need you to focus. We have to be serious about this. I mean, we're talking about our future and our baby's future. I know. Well, my dad did offer me a job working with him, but that means I'll be away from you. What did you tell him? Well, I told him we'd talk it over, but here's what I think. You go to college, and I'll get a job close by while you study. Doing what? I don't know. There must be a lot of places like this up there. Uh, excuse me, sir. Hi. Uh, what does a job like that pay? Well, if I worked every day, including holidays, doing a little overtime, didn't take any breaks, I'd still be below the poverty line. <laughs> Guess I better take that job with my dad. Girls, come on, hurry up. We'll drop you off at school hurry, on the way to work. Hurry. Okay, Mom, Liz. So is Junior going to be working with you guys? If he is, he's running late already. Michael, come on. Try not to be too hard on him. This might take a while. We don't have a while, Jay. I have nine months to take dummy to daddy. I gotta teach him that there's no free rides. Okay, ready to go to work. Well, 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 he's ready, Jay. Look at that. Come here, son. Let's go over the rules. Okay, you work eight hours a day. You have to be punctual. That means you gotta be there on time. If you're late, you miss the day, you don't get paid for it. If you miss two days, you're fired. Got it. In fact, I won't even stop for breakfast. I'll just pick up some snacks to eat along the way. Good. A muffin, mustard for the muffin, <laughs> frozen TV dinner for the mustard. Shall I write that down? Yeah, write that down. Come here. I want you at work at 9 o'clock sharp. Do not be late. I don't see how I could be late. I'm riding with the boss. <laughs> Aren't I? Hold this. Eh. Uh, nope. Oh, come on. That's not fair. It's not about being fair, Junior. It's about you becoming a man. Now, you got to pretend that you work for a stranger. Now, if I was you, I'd get some hustle in my step, and I'd go make that train. Oh. Hey, B. There's no train. Oh, I forgot. To... Hey, Junior, there's no train. <laughs> Junior, there's no train. He'll figure it out. <laughs> pregnant? Junior got Vanessa pregnant? Oh, you know they're both going to hell, right? Why are they going to hell? Fornication, duh. That spells H-E double hockey sticks. <laughs> In fact, they're not even going to regular hell. They're going to bad hell. There's a bad hell? <sighs> you know what, Tony? What? You're turning into a real pain in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> Claire, did you just hear what you just said? You just said A double snakes. Shut up, Tony. Wait a second. You know, I'm not the one that did anything wrong here. Why are you yelling at me? Because my brother is in trouble. And instead of showing compassion and understanding, you sit there judging him. What happened to them could happen to anyone, including us. Really? No, never, because you keep acting like a horse is A double snakes. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Kyle. Hey, Tony, what's happening? Uh, um, do you think that I'm too judgmental? Yes. <laughs> no, I'm serious, you are. <laughs> this isn't a joke, Mr. Kyle, I'm serious. I know, I'm telling you the truth. You're a pompous, pious, self-righteous, arrogant young man. But the good news is, I love those shoes. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh my God, it's true. I'm too judgmental. Yeah. I'm a sinner. Yeah. And I'm sorry. Look, I, I am sorry for any time that I, I, I might have offended you. It's okay. I'm sorry that I left that to your daughter. Okay, too much information. No, 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 no. Okay, you need to hear this. Look, I had a dream last night that she stepped out of the shower. She was glistening like a wet seal. All she right. started doing this thing. She was like, ar, 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 ar. Okay. God help me, I liked it. Son, so how was the first day at work? What first day? I was 20 minutes late, so you sent me home. Oh, yeah. That was great. There's no train, you know. 
I know. I tried to tell you before you ran out of here. He yelled. I said, don't try to... <laughs> I guess you didn't hear me. So you learned a lesson, son. If you want to be to work on time, you have to leave early. Tomorrow, I expect you to be there on time. Otherwise, don't bother coming in. Fine. Fine, you will be there on time, or fine, you're not coming in. I don't know. Son, it's time for you to sink or swim, okay? I'm just providing a pool. Be on time, 9 o'clock, sharp. What do you think? You think he's gonna make it or not? I don't know and I don't care. He's just another employee as far as I'm concerned. Well, there goes your answer. Yes, thank God. Yes! Come here, baby. Oh, it's only you. What do you want? I just want to know what to do with the shipment of suppositories. Why don't you stick them in, in your... your truck? Right, baby? In your truck. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Michael. I'm just really disappointed. I thought the boy was really going to show up. And look, I had this hat specially made for him. Look wow. at that. Look at the size of that thing. <laughs> when you have to get a prescription to get this hat? It was very sweet of you, baby. Thank you. And look, see? It won't go to waste. It looked just like this. Thank you, baby. When he was little. Remember? <laughs> Remember his sonogram? Ah, oh, break it up, you two. We got work to do. Oh. But he's late. So he's fired. Who is it? It's Junior. What do you want, Junior? Uh, hi, is Mr. Kyle home? Oh, sorry, he's not here. He just me money. Can I take a message? Uh, sure. Uh, can you tell him his son stopped by? His son come by. Which son? The oldest. It's the oldest. Is the junior? Yeah, it's the junior. Get in here, boy. <laughs> hey, Dan, you're back. Did Manny give you my message? <laughs> I guess I should write that down. Yeah. Write that down and then draw it out. <laughs> what do you want? I want to know why you're being so hard on me. I'm hard on you because life is hard, and I'm trying to prepare you for it. Your mother and I were just really worried about you. I appreciate that, but I get the feeling that you're mad at me all the time. Look, I'm not mad at you. I'm just trying to make a man out of you. How? Well, by breaking my spirit, criticizing me, making me walk around with this dumb, dumb notebook? You want me to be a man, but you treat me like a child. That's because that's what you act like, a child. You can't even get to work on I time. I was there at 9. No, 9 on 1. You want to impress me, be there at 8.30 or 8 o'clock. I'm trying, Dad. You're not trying hard enough, Junior. You're about to be a father. If having a baby in this world doesn't motivate you, then nothing will. You're right. And I promise, from this moment on, I'll do my best. Come here. I love you. Love you too, Dad. Can I see you to work tomorrow? I can have my job back? You gonna be there on time? Yeah. How do you know for sure? Because I'm leaving right now. <laughs> hey, come here. Your mother made your hat. <laughs> kind of tight in the back. Hey, baby, what you reading? The Little Prince. What's that about? A little boy that cries like this? <laughs> Giddy cry. <laughs> Prince! <laughs> Anywho... No, pretty soon I'm gonna be reading this book to the new baby. Wow. Mm. What? Mm. You just said, wow, mm, mm, mm. In marriage, that's not good. What does that mean? I guess I'm just anxious about facing our family and friends. You know, they're gonna be looking at me with that look that says, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. You're a bad mother. Shut your mouth. <laughs> Shut your mouth. I got it. Hey, look. Mm. You're not a bad mother. You're a great mother. Yeah, right. Prove it. You still got Claire and Katie. That's two out of three. In baseball, you're in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> See, that's why I'm still with you. You can always make me laugh. Look. 
I know this isn't the life we planned for Junior, but I really believe it's gonna work out. Promise. I promise. Mm. Hey, you think tonight I could get some A-double snakes? <laughs> what? What the fuck are you talking? What is that? Turn out the light. I'll show you. <laughs> Tell Joanne that I'm going to do a real dismount. Joanne Haley's on. Put down the salt. Wanna pull my head, break my back. It's not called Jim Nice. From the writer of Bring It On. Dude, how do we not know about this sport? Okay, guys. Let it rip. What do they have that we don't have? Boobs. Stick it. Call me. Stalk you. With PG-13. <laughs>